one hour ago, so I feel great today. Okay, nice. Um, and Julieta, how about you? How are you doing? Hmm. Maybe. Okay, uh... Well, how's it going? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Nice. Good to hear. Um, Hi, Jabo. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Why don't you use your camera, right? You're, you look fresh. Oh. I just uh, <coughs> take a pass. I take take a pass. Bang, bang. From where to where? It's very hot outside. The temperature is uh, about uh, 20, 24 degrees Celsius. 24 is, is nice. Yeah, it's not, so hot. <laughs> not too bad. Let's get started on today's class. Um, and let's have Jose. Can you read the title yes. and the next lines? Well, uh, today we will uh, talk about the bad habits, uh, read about the healthy habits, read a comic, and uh, practice uh, conjugating verbs. <laughs> okay, maybe conjugating. 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 Yeah, conjugating. Conjugating. Uh huh. Read a comic practice. Conjugating. Okay. And that sounded pretty good. Let's have. Jose, can you ask Sasha the first question? Okay. What is uh, something healthy that uh, you do? Explain. Uh, I uh, I'm going to to gym um, because uh, it keeps me very healthy and uh, I just like it. I like it to be uh, strong and uh, healthy. Good. Okay. Yeah. Really nicely done. Um, you said I am going to the gym. That would assume that you're going right now. Ah oh, yes. Um, yeah. I go. I go to gym. Just I go to gym. Yeah. So I go. We need an article. Ah, uh, at gym. I go to the gym. To the gym. Why the? We need to imply a certain gym. I go to the gym. Hmm. It's like saying I go to the beach. You kind of group all the the gyms into one. Does that um, kind of make sense? No, because. Uh, um. I think you should uh, know what the gym, uh, and I say ju just uh, some gym. Yeah, like not in this case. So the gym, it would always be the gym. Um, so we do use the definite article on that. Um, does that make sense? <laughs> no, just uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, uh, so with things. My learning of articles. That's okay. So we say like the beach, even if you're talking about a random gym. A couple nouns that we. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Um, can't explain that a little bit better, but. Okay, and let's have, where are we, Sasha, can you ask Shinwei the next question? 
Yes. Jenny, what is something unhealthy that you do? Explain. I spend too much time in front of computer. In front of the computer. Yeah, good. In front of the computer. All right. Um, yeah, so that's definitely a good answer. Um, I should uh, spend uh, more time with my wife and uh, my children. Yeah, I should. Um, wife and children. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's a good answer. Uh, and wrong spelling. Excuse me? More time. Delay the T. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Shinwei, can you ask Julia the next question? Julia, what's something you can do to become healthier? I think um, healthy food is the first step to become healthier. Uh, and the second step is um, sport. Uh, and the easiest way in sport is juggling every day, maybe. Sorry, can you repeat jogging? Jogging. Jog jogging. Jog. Yeah. Um. It's the easiest way to become healthy. Okay. Jogging every day. So you don't jog every day right now, or do you? Yeah, I, I'll try, but not every day. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's difficult sometimes. Um, yes. Wake up okay. early and. Yeah, definitely. I always find it hard to run in the mornings. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. And does anybody have any questions on the stage? Okay. And Julia, can you ask Adela the or sorry, Adela, can you read the title and the words? <laughs> yes. Vocabulary. You ask me, yes? <laughs> yeah, I asked Adela. I talked I asked your name first. Um but yeah, why don't you let Adela go through this? A nosus a diet exercise painkiller. Card, card. Sorry, do you hear me? Uh, yeah. Allergy, cardio, well balanced, and wholesome. Okay, so you did a good job. I didn't hear you say this word. Ill. Good. Okay. And. Um, okay, so maybe allergy. Can you repeat Aller allergy? Allergy. And unwholesome. 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 Nice. Unwholesome. Good. All right. And does anybody have any questions about this? Yes. First word. Okay, who can explain what nauseous means? Maybe bad tasted or bad have a bad smell. No. Mm, no bad not quite. Not quite. Can I? Go for it. All right. Nasal is a feeling when you when you have the desire to throw up. You you feel under the weather uh, by having a disease. Yeah, maybe you're sick, so yeah, you feel under the weather. A disease? No, you a disease. A disease, not a disease. I'm sorry about my pronunciation. Oh, what did you say? I will type, okay, because my my pronunciation is awful. Hold you, on. it's not awful. I think you did a good job. Um, so definitely, when you feel under the weather, when you're feeling like you need to throw up, um. 
Dizziness. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dizziness. Having a dizziness. Having a dizziness? We just say when you feel dizzy. Uh, or okay, you feel dizzy. Yeah. When you feel dizzy is probably the easiest way of saying it. Um, okay. Yeah. So I have, have, a, I have yeah. a lot of questions. Okay. What's the cardio? Cardio. And who can explain cardio? I can. Okay. Every, everything is, that is related to your heart. Yeah, we generally call it like a. In, in this case, it is referring to an exercise. Yeah, so an exercise that works your heart. Be cardio. Um, the okay. Aerobic, aerobic exercise. Then. Excuse me. Oh, I aerobic. mean cardio. Yes. Uh, aerobic. Yeah. Yes. Aerobic exercise. Yeah, nice job, Javo. Aerobic exercises. Okay. And any other questions? Unwholesome. Okay, unwholesome. Can you repeat that one more time, Shinwei? Unwholesome. Unwholesome. Good. And maybe Daniel, what do you think this means? Okay, unwholesome. It's something that is not good for your health, and maybe. For sure. Um, unwholesome is bad for. Um, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, Daniel, I'm not, again, sure if you can hear me. I think you can now. Something that's not good for your health, something that's, yeah, unwholesome. So, wholesome, wholesome is really healthy um, in a lot of different ways. Unwholesome, just not healthy. So, it doesn't even have to be necessarily bad for you. It's just unhealthy. Um, not good for your health. Good. And we're talking about food here, shouldn't I? Any other questions? The fifth one is ill, yes? Yeah, that's ill. <laughs> it always does the capital. <laughs> <It's a team. laughs> I think uh, the third. Excuse me? Uh, three. Oh. Three Norman. Uh, you oh. can see. The Roman number, yeah. Okay. Roman numerals, yeah. Okay, and any other questions before we move on? You have done the great job. Go on. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all right. And so let's start with Julieta. Can you read the first rule? You're going to the supermarket with your mom. Convince her to buy you lucky chocolate marshmallow cereal for breakfast. Mm. Sorry, let's have something unknown. Convince her to buy you something. And Jabo, um, can okay. you read the next one? Uh, convince your son or daughter that getting something healthy will be a good choice. Okay, good. And let's start with Julieta. What do you want to get? Nutella. So, Mom, I want to buy this big uh, bottle of Nutella.
Okay, good. Nice, Nutella. Nutella. What? What? Uh, Nutella. What? What is Nutella? Are you serious? Chocolate, I think. Oh, uh, cho chocolate. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but by right now it's early morning. Why you wanted to eat chocolate? It's not healthy for you. Could you buy something else? Like milk or uh, bread, something like that. Okay, so why don't you buy something else, like milk or bread? Yeah. Something else, more healthy or uh, more wholesome? Yeah, something healthier or more wholesome? Yeah. And I'm going to get them. Um, yeah, that's Nutella. But can't get the individual image. Uh, all right, yeah, I think that's good. Jose, how would you respond? <coughs> I will like uh, uh, well, I like uh, to eat in Nutella. It's my preferred. Uh, my it is my preferred food. Um, I I am going to to do a, a lot of e exercise. I think uh, it will be a good idea to to eat uh, Nutella. For me, uh, Nutella uh, Nutella is very is, it is a very powerful food. Very powerful food. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, I'm going to do a lot of extras. I think it would be a good idea to eat Nutella for me. Very powerful. All right, and Sasha, how would you respond? Uh, Sasha, can you hear me? Okay, uh, Shinwei, what about you? Hey, you are very talkative. You're very talkative. You must follow my rule. If you, if you didn't. If you didn't listen to me, if you didn't listen to me, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give you, give you allowance. Allowance? Yes. Okay. A couple of small things here. We need to change the highlighted and underlined words. And we also need to add a possessive pronoun. Mm. Give you. Give you. Give your. <laughs> I give you your. Mm. Okay, and how would you correct those other words? How would you correct those other words, Chinway? Chinway, can you hear me? Oh. I mute myself. I am thinking. Okay. If you if you didn't listen to me, hmm, I, 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 I couldn't. Present tense. So you chose oh. the right words, but we need to use the present tense. Oh, if you don't listen to me, 
I will give you, I won't give you your allowance. Yeah, perfect. Good correction. If you don't listen to me, I won't give you your allowance. Because mm. it's right now. Thank you. Thank you for your clue. You are yeah. all good team. Good job. Julia, how do you respond? <clears throat> um, but mom, you promised to me to buy this Nutella. Why you added two days ago if it's so unhealthy? If it's, uh, I'm not sure if I heard you perfectly. Um, Wh why you add it? Why you add the Nutella or why you add it two days ago? So like why did you add it to the list? Okay. I'm not sure. So why hmm. you Are add you using the verb to the, to eat? Eat at eat in the past tense get. is eight. 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 Okay. Eight. And we're missing another verb there. Uh huh. Okay. Why did you eat? Uh huh. Why did you eat? Um, why did you eat it two days ago if it's so unhealthy? Yes. Nice. Okay. That works. All right. And Adela, how would you respond? Adela? Sorry, you like Nutella uh, because you are fans to Valentino Rossi, but uh, there are other brands uh, cheaper than Nutella. And, and more he and healthy, cheaper and healthier than Nutella. <laughs> Valentino Rossi. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, no worries. Valentina Rossi. But no, Valentino Rossi is a is a, a moto a motorway uh, race. Uh, uh, was the champion uh, more a lot of uh, times, no? Uh, maybe okay. Giulietta, because it's Italian. Okay. I've, yeah, no idea, but. Um, Okay. Oh, that works. Do you like Nutella because you're thinner? All right. And Anna Carolina, how would you respond? Ha! Huh, I see. You you don't wanna buy me Nutella because you wanna save money. You are not concerned about my health. You are a, an awful mom. <laughs> you you are evil, and I I hate you. No, 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 I don't hate you. I'm sorry. I, I, I listen to you. Uh, please give me my allowance now. Mom, I love you. <laughs> okay. You said a lot. I can't quite keep up. Um, because you want to save money. Um, so. No, I'm hey. sorry, Mom. <laughs> I, I, I didn't intend to say something like that. I, I just blew, blew up. Please forgive me. I love you. I am listening to you. Could you give me my allowance now? My allowance now? My allowance. Nice. Good grammar. Uh, <laughs> good solution, too. Um, all right. And Daniel, how would you respond? Yeah, well, my answer is no because remember, if you don't have, if you don't choose any health, any healthy, like some fruit or vegetable, you, I can, I can spend money buying some buying Nutella for you. Okay, my answer is no. If you don't choose any healthy fruits or vegetables, I can't spend money buying a pellet for you. Um, okay, okay, 
Good. Judetta, how did you respond? Okay, I can, you can, I you want to buy these uh, bananas and uh, this uh, wonderful cream and I promise I will do all my homework. Okay, good. Wonderful cream. Um, all right, and Julieta, can you ask Jabo the next question? Or, wow, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind. Um, Jabba, how's your response? Okay. Oh, come on, child. Listen to me. If uh, you eat so much chocolate, you are uh, as fat, you will be as fat as your father. You know, your father have a hot belly. So, you want to like that? You are so cute, and uh, if you are fat, Nobody will want to marry you. So just, <laughs> just listen to me and um, be, a, be a good child, okay? And be a good child. All right. I think we're getting to the end. Jose, let's start yes. wrapping it up. Child, no? Yeah, child. child. I, don't worry, ma'am. I I forgive. I'll forgive the the idea. I'll forget about it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, generally. I I I, I don't buy Nutella. Uh huh. Did you use the article there? Yes, I want why the the Nutella. The Nutella. Yeah, because we're talking about like this Nutella. Oh, I don't buy the Nutella. Yeah, um, and then I'll forget about it is really common. So we just say forget about it. Don't worry about it. I forget about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And Shinwei, how would you finish up the conversation? I like your decision. I like your decision. Hey, if your father comes back, if your father comes back, I will. I will. I will tell him about this. Okay. Are you saying if your father comes back, is in like in the relationship? Hmm. He maybe he would. Uh, maybe he would uh, give you more balance tomorrow. He will give you more allowance tomorrow. Okay. Good luck. Okay, if I was going back, I'd tell him about Alright, I think that's good. Um, if your father comes back, if they're still together, we'd probably want to say when your father comes back. Uh, when your father has come back. Yeah. <laughs> good luck. Okay, it's a good way to end it. Does anybody have any questions on this? Any questions here? Okay, and let's go on to the next page. Uh, let's get that. Let's look at this, and let's have Shinwei. Can you ask Julia the first question? Julia, what's your favorite band habit? <clears throat> Sometimes um, I can be so rude, 
and uh, I can't uh, give a feedback to person uh, in a very awful way. So it's my bad habit. <sighs> Okay, sometimes I can be so rude and... I can give a feedback. Nope. Yeah, I can be so rude and... Yeah, I can give feedback to a person in a very awful way. That's my bad habit. And so is that your favorite bad habit? Is that a bad habit that you enjoy? Oh, no, sorry. Uh, it's not my favorite bad habit, but it's only... Mm. Um. Oh, what is your favorite bad habit? I can answer this question correctly because uh, this bad habit just only once in me. Okay. Um. Because it's only once. Just like just I have just only this habit and nothing else. All right. So I haven't favorite bad habits. <laughs> okay. I can talk about this bad habit. Awful habit. Yeah, so that doesn't sound like a great habit for sure. Um, yeah, on the bright side you aren't rude in class at all. So that's something. I good. think my <laughs> answer connects more with the second uh, tick you want to break. Yeah, probably. That's actually a good. Good point. All right, and Maybe, Julia, can you ask Adela the same question, so that first question? Of course. What is your favorite bad habit? Uh, yes, my favorite uh, bad habit is to eat uh, chips. <laughs> I like uh, salt, uh, snacks, etc. Uh, overall, chips. Maybe especially chips. Especially chips. Yeah, and we'd say salty snacks. Okay. Okay. My favorite bad habit is to eat chips. Good. And maybe eating. So using the gerunds there could work. Um, I think it's like chips. My favorite bad habit is eating chips. So I think that sounds a little bit smoother. But both work. All right. And what about you, Anna Catalina? Do you have a favorite bad habit? The sound is very bad. Yeah. I cannot see really see um, a good portion of french fries with ketchup. I slice of pizza, chocolate, and, and things like that. And I, and I love cooking. Nice. Okay, good. Um, and maybe Anna Carolina, can you ask Daniel the next question? Daniel, <clears throat> what is one bad habit you want to break? If you don't have any, think of a bad habit you already broke. Well, one of my bad habits I want to break is try to stop. Uh, to eat uh, fast food <laughs> because I love fast food <laughs> like hamburger and fresh fry and french fries nice okay good Daniel do you have a favorite fast food restaurant yeah, it, well, uh, near to my to my job, I have a lot of, of restaurants of, uh, for fast food, chic, fried chicken, only fried chicken, hamburgers, and pizza, and donuts. <laughs> okay, so you said near to. I'm not sure if you said near to my house or near to my job. Um, yes, job. <laughs> okay. Job. We couldn't say, we can't say near to. We need to say something else. Uh, um, 
Or we need to change it, maybe. Okay. So just remember, we'd say close to or near. Alone. So you take away two. Or you could say close to my job. For lots of fried food. Okay. Yeah, so it's one or the other. Remember, this is always going to be like that. So it's always either close to or near. And they mean the same thing, but there's no preposition after near. Okay. Okay. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why you wrote lots with apostrophe before S? Uh, I'm not sure. Sometimes I do that on accident. Where, where did I put it? Near my job, I have lots of fried food. It's apostrophe before S. Why? Can you explain? Nope. <laughs> it just, it's just one of those things that I do sometimes. Typing, so we can, we can tell a lot of or lots in a short way, yes? Yeah. Yep. A lot of mm -hmm. or lots. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, could you explain me, please, why we, for example, um, uh, he's uh, not my wife's brother, yes? And when we um, put a apostrophe before S, and when we put apostrophe after S, why we put apostrophe after S in some ways? It's plural? Yes. You put yes, yes. After? Wow. After the S. So, um, out of cars. Um, so, I have a lot of cars. Yeah, so, my ca one cars, my only cars problem. So, again, that's an awkward sentence, but that's what you're talking about. Um, mm -hmm. All of my cars problems. Yes, 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 yes. So, again, because it's plural, you put the apostrophe after the S, and if it's singular, you put the apostrophe before the S. So, this just implies that it's plural. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Sorry about the really bad examples, um, but... Okay, uh, and maybe one more. Um, maybe Daniel, can you choose which question you want to ask Julieta? So ask her one of these two questions. Okay, uh, what is one bad habit you want to break if you don't have anything one of bad habits you already broke? It is not a habit anymore, but sometimes it comes again. Uh, in during the vacation, usually I go to bed very late, and that's awful. Sorry, I didn't quite hear you. During vacations, what happens? I go to bed very late. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um, just one thing, we'd make vacations plural. Um, so during vacation, instead of saying during the vacation, mm -hmm. okay. you could also say when I'm on vacation. But during vacations, I go to bed very late. That would be good. All right. And does anybody have any questions or comments on this page? Okay, and let's go on to the next one. Okay, let's do a little bit of reading, and let's have Jabo. Can you read the first part of this first paragraph? Mm, all right. Why he, why he's dangerous? Skipping so, the first oh, reading a uh, bad habit. Skipping breakfast. Why he's dangerous? Skipping the first meal of the day can have serious consequences for your weight, your energy levels, and uh, even your blood sugar. 
marching a piece of morning toes or crunching a ball or brain phrase signal to your metabolism and uh, blood is it's time to keep things up a notch. Wow. Nice. Okay. So many pro long pronunciation. I think you did a really good job. Uh, consequences? Consequences? Uh, flakes? Flakes? And signals? Signals. Nice. And kick, some, kick things up a notch. Does anybody know what that means? Mm, to stuff something? To do something? Yeah. Not quite. Any other ideas? Okay. Like to kill this habit. <laughs> Not quite. To um, deal with no? So if we think of maybe somebody who's high jumping. So if you have a high jumper, there are these little notches. So where you put the bar. So those are notches, and they're on either side. This is the worst drawing ever. Um, so these would be notches. And then you've got a bar that goes across, and it sits in the notches. So when you kick things up a notch, you just put it on a different level. Does that make sense? So where these would be notches, one notch, kick it up to the next notch, kick it up to the next notch. So it's mm -hmm. like to make something more intense um, mm -hmm. or more difficult, depends on what you're talking about, but just to increase the level of it. Hopefully that makes sense. Any other questions here? No. OK. What, what is brand? Uh, B-R-A-N. Brand. Yeah, brand. Does anybody know what brand is? Um, it's hard to explain. <laughs> it is hard to explain. Um, <laughs> brain odds or something like this one, uh, or odd odd brains. Um, oh just... man, what did I just do? Um, I'll just so a picture, a picture. Yeah, I'm trying. It was something just happened that was a little bit odd. So that's bran, or those are bran flakes. Um, so it's a type of what is going on? Um, it's a type of breakfast cereal that generally would be bran flakes. Grain itself is a type of grain. So it's a cereal. Yeah, it's a cereal. Um, so this is like bran in its raw form, and those are bran flakes. Does that make sense? And this is a bowl of like raisin bran. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. And Jose, can you read the next part? Yes. Skipping the FOL keeps your metabolism running on low, which can lead to weight gain and slugliness. You'll also create a sterf now indulge later eating pattern, which is why breakfast skippers tend to overeat later in the day. Okay, uh, let's look at metabolism. Metabolism. Sluggishness. Sluggish sluggishness. Starve now, indulge later. Starve now. Indulge. Indulge later. Mm -hmm. Starve now, indulge later. Breakfast skippers. Breakfast skippers. Yeah. Okay. Breakfast. Breakfast skippers. Close. Breakfast. Bre breakfast. Yes. Breakfast. Breakfast. 
yeah, almost got that eye sound. Breakfast. Uh huh. And Shinway, try the next one. Shinway, are you there? Oh, I'm thinking. What's your question? Hi, I'm here. Hi. Yeah, can you read this next part? Oh. Why you should stop starting a breakfast routine is easy. The moment you do, you take a major step towards fixing the problem skipping breakfast cost, including excess weight and unhealthy blood sugar swings. Continue? No, sorry. Stop there. That was really good, though. Good to, did a good job reading. Unhealthy blood sugar swings. Maybe unhealthy blood sugar swings. Can you repeat that one more time? Unhealthy blood sugar swings. Nice. Well done. Okay. And who knows sluggishness and indulge? Does anybody know the, the meaning of sluggishness and indulge? Sluggishness is like lazy. Yeah, sluggishness is like laziness. Um, so if you feel sluggish, you just don't have much energy, you feel really, you know, either tired or just you don't want to move and indulge. What about indulge? Any ideas about what indulge means? Uh, when you allow yourself to do things. Yeah, when you allow yourself to do things, maybe you shouldn't. Um, I really shouldn't have that chocolate cake, but I guess I'll indulge. Um, yeah, that would be indulge. And let's read the next one, Julia. <clears throat> Uh, eating breakfast will result in more stable blood sugar, which means uh, fever, food uh, cravings, and hunger pangs later in the day. Because you're refueling your body early in the day, you'll also have more energy in the morning. You may find that you start to control your weight more easily, too. Nice. Refueling. Refue refueling. Yeah, refuel, fuel. Refuel. Pain. Good. Refueling. Perfect. Pangs. Pangs. Cravings. Cravings. Good. All right. And I think we're good. Does anybody have any questions on this page? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we are just about out of time. I know we started late. Sorry about the problems with the class. Um, hopefully I can figure out my microphone. Um, but thanks again for coming in, and hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Yeah, see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.